Well, in just about an hour, results will start rolling in and we'll soon know who's facing off against Democrat Stacey Abrams in the race for governor. It has been a highly contentious race leading up to this runoff between Secretary of State Brian Kemp and Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle. Uh, from secret recordings to big name endorsements, we've seen and heard it all in just a few weeks, but starting tomorrow, the winner will turn his attention to November. Fox 5's Morse Diggs and Doug Evans will be there tonight with the candidates as those results come in. And Doug, let's begin with you. What is the mood coming out of the Kemp campaign? Well, today we're live at the Holiday Inn in Athens. It's here that Brian Kemp and his supporters will watch the election night returns and perhaps have a little party if the latest polls are correct. Uh, Brian Kemp, the front runner, what was it? Was it those commercials, the shotgun, the pickup truck, the yep, I said that slogan? Or was it those secret recordings of Casey Cagle alleging dirty politics? Or was it the important endorsement of President Donald Trump? Could have been all of those things. We'll find out what matters and what doesn't matter in just a few short hours. Brian Kemp emerged late in the race as the front runner. Casey Cagle had led all these many, many months. Now, earlier today, Brian Kemp was in Winterville voting with his wife and one of his daughters. That's where they cast their ballots. That's the very latest from the Brian Kemp campaign. Let's check in with my colleague, Morse Diggs, who's with the Casey Cagle election gathering. Morse. Well, Doug, uh, Casey Cagle is hoping the voters made a calculation on the way into the polls. And that calculation is this. Who would be the stronger candidate against Democrat Stacey Abrams? Cagle definitely believes he has the best chance of winning in the fall. Now, Cagle earlier today with his family cast ballots at a Flowery Branch precinct. Cagle meeting with reporters late in the afternoon acknowledged it's tough going up, up against an endorsement from the politician he called the most powerful in the world, that being President Trump. But he says the backing of Governor Deal, which he has, also counts, or at least he hopes so. Now, we expect Governor Deal to be here in DeKalb County at the Cagle party tonight. As far as watching for votes in this slim turnout throughout the state, he says he's going to be looking at southwest and northwest Georgia. Those voters have to come out. Live from the Kago camp in DeKalb County, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right, we'll be watching as the count comes in. Morse, thanks. There are some other big races to watch today. On the Republican ballot, former State Representative Jeff Duncan and State Senator David Schaefer a square off for the nomination for Lieutenant Governor. Uh, for the Secretary of State nomination, former Alpharetta Mayor David Bell Isle faces State Representative Brad Raffensperger. Now, in the 6th Congressional District, Sine. Democrats going to decide between Lucy McBath and Kevin Abel. In the 7th District, it's Democrats David Kim and Carolyn Bordeaux. Now, Fox 5 is your source for election coverage. As soon as the polls close, you'll find instant results on fox5atlanta.com. And then starting at 8, join us on our Fox 5 Atlanta Facebook page for live results and analysis. And tonight on Fox 5 News at 10 and The Edge at 11, we'll have team coverage of results from the key races and reaction from the candidates.